Our fire alarm sounds like church bells. It's too soon, Jesus. Don't come yet. I gotta get my tree up. what packages we have this morning. I think this is our Christmas pajamas. So this year at my dad's Christmas party, we decided we wanted to do it pajama themed. So everyone needs to show up in Christmas pajamas to the Christmas dinner, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see what my sisters do with their kids, like the little cute family PJ sets are the best things ever. Oh no, this isn't our Christmas video. <laughs> this is our bed sheets. Not that interesting. Oh yeah, so I want to get proper studio lights here because it gets really dark at like four o'clock. So it's hard to film if I wanna like get creative. And a lot of you said you want me to do a mix of stuff, whether it be makeup, fashion, DIYs, as well as daily vlogs and like life in Toronto. So if I wanna film those main proper videos, I need some lighting. I just went for this newer like package deal. It comes with a few lights and it was the best um, price for quantity and hopefully it has good quality too. I'll test it out and let you guys know. And we got a food steamer. I said we got a food steamer. Good morning everybody. I just got ready and we are gonna head out to the St. Lawrence Market today. I've never been there before. I really wanna check it out. We're gonna try and find some good, fresh, local farmer foods. I think that's what they have there. I'm hoping that's what I heard. That's what we're going for. And then we're gonna try and cook something yummy and healthy tonight for dinner and also do the tree. And then there's a few other things we need to buy, like cleaning stuff. But that's the main goal for today. It is a gorgeous sunny day too, so I'm excited to get out. Kind of looks like we're building a fort, but I'm just drying my sheets because I don't want to put them in the dryer. So I've hung them all over the staircase because that's the easy, I don't have like a, a drying line outside or anything yet. So much culture here. So many old buildings. Here is who? We don't know her. Where it's at with the old buildings. Big. <laughs> it's not comparable. <laughs> Look at that one. You only have one here. We got one, two, three. Paris is everywhere. <laughs> Culture. So Canadian, they're apologizing for being open. It says sorry, we're open. <laughs> Instead of sorry, we're closed. I love it. <laughs> We made it, look, you wanna grab a coffee? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah? Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Where do you even start? Ah, uh, there's so many different foods. What's this, Latin? Uh, this is what I love about Toronto. There's so many different cultures and different foods to try. This is the perfect spot to try them, it seems. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just stop it. Just stop it. This is my last. 
<laughs> start using this from now on. I'm more Knox is coming over. Well, Knox, Alex, Dexter, Bronny, and um, Gordy. <laughs> They're all coming over later and we're gonna make her pizza. I'm so excited. I'm buying so many different sprinkles and stuff. I think I'm more excited to have them than they are so I can finally bake with someone. Although my baking never turns out good, but I think they won't be able to tell the difference. So the perfect people to bake with. We're gonna love it. everything we bought there. So we got a bunch of homeware stuff, just some stuff that we need for cooking. Finally got scissors. We were using these little tiny ones the whole time. You've seen them, me holding them in my video before. A knife, because we don't have any sharp knives. A spiralizer, so I can make some veggie pasta, like zucchini pasta. It's more, my goal is to use this every time I get a coffee and not to get any more takeaway coffee cups or like plastic lids. So I'm gonna try my best to bring this with me everywhere. Really, really wanna try to reduce my footprint. So I think my main areas where I should start were the straws for one, because I had a plastic straw almost every day before, but now I have metal straws both in Hong Kong and here, and I don't have any plastic straws at all. What else? Oh, um, reusable grocery, grocery bags, not getting the plastic ones. Uh, another thing we're bad at is the water bottles. In Hong Kong, most people will buy um, bottles. We do buy the big ones rather than the small ones so that it like has more water in it, but I'm gonna buy a filter here. I know in our new place we installed a filter on the sink so that we could just drink tap water, but I'm gonna try and do something here so that we can reduce that too. So those are the main things I'm working on right now. Also, we got some cheese. The cheese there is really good. There's so many good places with all different kinds from all over the world. I don't really eat cheese, but Tom likes it and he chose this one with crackers. I got some baking stuff because I'm gonna make some stuff with the kids, like different sprinkles. This is to clean the potatoes with. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Fresh chicken breast. I got this pot to use tonight because I'm gonna make like a little chicken stew with all these. These are gorgeous, all different colored carrots. Got some of those. Green beans, um, garlic, bananas, green apples, some fresh thyme, sweet potatoes, cherries. These look really good. Cherries are one of my favorite things and celery. I really enjoy going to that market. I highly recommend it if you're in Toronto, especially if you wanna pop in for lunch. There is so many things to choose from, from so many different countries. And I love just walking around and hearing people speak in different languages or have different accents. Like this guy selling Italian sandwiches with a really strong Italian accent. I love listening to that. Um, so that, yeah, that place is great. And now I am going to make one of these dishes that my grandma makes, actually it's the dinner she made the night Tom went there to ask for my hand in marriage with my family. And it's like this chicken stew with lots of vegetables. We got all the ingredients there. That's what I was calling, I was calling her and asking her how I do it. And so I'm gonna teach you guys how I do it. It's really easy and quick. I, I don't know all the steps still though. So I'm gonna be learning it now at the same time as you guys are. I'm gonna call her and we're gonna do this together. <laughs> It's me! <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you take your chicken, you put your uh, uh, oven at 425. It depends, I say put like salt and pepper on it, whatever you want to put on it, if you want, you know. On both and sides? Let it cook, uh, yeah. Do I have to put olive oil? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I toss some, uh, a little bit of olive oil in them if you want to, yeah. And let it cook uh, like open until you start getting brown, then... For how long, about? Oh, about, yeah, you can do it about half an hour. While that's doing that, you uh, clean your vegetables and peel them and cut them all in, in thin enough strips that it'll cook long enough, mm -hmm. half enough. 
then the other 45 minutes, the, the vegetables will be cooked with the, the chicken. In. I'm getting ahead of it, okay? Wait, wait. So, <laughs> so wait, yeah, I, put, okay. I put the chicken in for 30 minutes and then I take it out and add the vegetables. Yeah, you take it out of the pan and then put all the vegetables at the bottom and put your chickens back on top. Okay. And you put a cover on it then. Okay. Okay, when you, you put the cover on, you can lower it to 375. Okay. And then once uh, you see it, it's been just about cooked, then you take the cover off so that of course the, the, the skin will get brown, but that will give it the juice to the chicken to go through all your vegetables. Okay, wait, how long do I cook it with, with the cover on? Uh, uh, about half an hour. And then you can check all your vegetables and then cook it on cover. Uh, Uncover until your vegetables are just completely done. So like a, an extra 15 minutes? Probably, it depends. Yeah, that's why I said, you, that's why you don't want to cook your vegetables too thick. All right, I'm gonna try. Are you cooking that tonight? Yeah, right now. <laughs> uh, okay then, good luck. Give me a call when you're finished and see if it's good. Okay, I will. The first time I did it, I did it iffy, and the second time got better, so you gotta learn. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. -bye. It looks good, eh? Look. Yeah, Skin's brown. So professional. Yeah. Mm, it's really good, babe. Really? Mm. Wow. Mm. It's really good, babe. Yay! It worked. When you do it this way with the chicken on the top, all the juices go to the bottom of the pan. So your vegetables get marinated in it and it makes it really juicy and tender everywhere. Look at all that juice at the bottom. It looks good. It worked. How did you see it? I sent you. I sent oh, it's, you. it's on George's phone. Now this is going to be my go-to dinner whenever people come over because I think it looks pretty impressive with all the colors, but it's easy and quick and not too expensive. Oh, yeah. You put it all in one pot. You get your vegetable ready, put it all in one pot, and you know, mm -hmm. and uh, then you take it out and everybody eats it. Really okay, good. Let you go in the attic so you can have it. Out. And uh, you're supposed to have a little bit of honey because uh, Tom likes honey with his chicken now. I know, Grandma. I got it for him. Uh, did you? Good for you. <laughs> okay, enjoy your supper. You, you did a good, fantastic job. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Okay, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Vlog is uploaded. PJs are back on. And now it's time to finish this tree. Phoebe, you got Christmas pants on. Yay. in the morning so I'm gonna stop there I think I want to add a few more black bulbs in and I'm gonna take a look at it in the daylight because it's kind of a bit difficult to see right now at this point and then just like perfect it in the morning I think I'm gonna shoot it in the morning so I can show you guys what it looks like in the light so you can see all the little details but I'm really happy with it it looks really I did something different this year with these stick things I saw a lot of trees with that at the store and I was really inspired by that and I also love these bulbs that have LED lights in them. It looks really magical. Also, these ones, all these white ones and these silver ones have LED lights inside, but the remote isn't working right now. I need to get the proper battery, but they sparkle. So when those are on, it will look really cool too. This is the one ornament of Wasan chose. So that's his guy. I guess our theme is kind of birds and feathers. There's a lot of birds and feather things without realizing it.
Good morning guys, this is it in the daytime. I just wanted to show you some of the details because I feel like it's easier to see right now. Her tree has a bit of snow and sparkles on it, which is actually pretty annoying because it goes everywhere, but it looks really pretty. And then for these, I still don't have a stapler. I went out trying to find one and couldn't, and then I was running out of time, everything was closed. So I just use these little clips for now and put them like this. But I'm gonna get a stapler and then I'm gonna make a proper big bow. I'm gonna watch a YouTube tutorial on how to make them. And I think I'm gonna add in some of these silver ones with it to make like big, huge present bows. But I'll do that a little later. But yeah, you get the basic idea. And I'm gonna order a few black bulbs. If any of you guys know any good websites that have nice bulbs for a good deal, let us know. Help us all out in the comments. I found that one of them. Okay, this is Tom's ornament. There's a bird inside. It's gorgeous. Beautiful, babe. Good choice. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to end this video here and pick up today's video from this point. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you again tomorrow. Good night. Good day. Do you want to feed my teeth? I think I kind of do. So have a good night or a good day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you for Vlogmas Day. What are we on tomorrow? What's today? Oh, I'll see you for Vlogmas Day 5 tomorrow.